I didn't always identify as a witch. I used to be a pastry chef. I feel like in capitalist America, we always identify with our occupation first. Um, so now that I'm a professional witch, uh, I'm doing witch a lot harder and a lot more than I ever was. I'm one of the owners of Catland Books, and we are an interfaith occult shop and event space, meaning we hold community events, rituals, talks, and classes, and we also sell pretty much everything you'll ever need for witchcraft. Magic is something that I do, witchcraft is something that I practice, and, and being a witch in the modern world, it's a little bit rebellious. I'm a witch because it's empowering. It feels like I'm participating in a, a living history of women and trans feminine people um, that goes back forever. I'm a witch because it's something I grew up with uh, and something that made a lot of sense for me as an adult as like a practical approach to spirituality. My family was Catholic, Irish Catholic, but um, you know, there's a lot of Catholic folk magic and Catholic folk traditions that people don't realize are witchcraft, you know, just by another name or not having a name at all. My grandma definitely did things, my mom did things that they would never label witchcraft, but that's what they are like hanging a rosary on your door to keep evil away. So one of the first things I learned about with witchcraft was about the wheel of the year and sort of the seasons changing and the festivals that go along with the seasons changing. You've got Samhain, which most people know as Halloween. You've got um, the winter solstice, which is Yule. But that was the first sort of thing that I acknowledged in terms of like living magically. My practice revolves mostly around spirit contact and trance work. I do a lot of work with um, certain spirits that like I, I think I can get a practical result out of uh, and going into trances and like dealing with them there. Tarot is a divination method. It's like a tool for your intuition. It doesn't just say something on its own. It just helps you uh, reframe a problem and see it from a new perspective. Dreaming is very important in witchcraft. A lot of my magic revolves around dreams and dream magic. Practicing witchcraft, at least for me, is an effort at decolonizing myself. Um, my notions of morality, religion, gender, um, and returning to, or trying to return to, a mind state that was pre-Christian, um, less prejudicial, and um, freer. Every morning I wake up and I pour a glass of water for my ancestors and I leave it at their altar. Um, and that's just a way to honor them and to thank them for where I am right now. And at the end of every day, I always say thank you to four things. I say thank you to the land. I say thank you to the gods, spirits, and animals of the place that I'm living. I say thank you to the mighty dead. And I say thank you to the living people. So those are my two daily practices. And then it's kind of like what I need to get done in between. I think anyone can be a witch. Everyone should be a witch. I think it's very similar to being a musician, that there are some people you know that have the talent kind of from birth, and there are other people who practice every single day and, and it takes them years and years to get even sort of good at it. But anybody can play the guitar. You know, if you, if you want to do it, you can do it. And if you want to be a witch, you can be a witch.